Hey, good morning there, uh, YouTube's friends and subscribers. I've got a uh, a new solar tracker controller. It was sent to me by LPC, uh, SolarStalker.com. It's a STA1000 HW dual single axis solar tracker controller. This one also has an uh, anemometer that you put up on a pole which will enable this solar tracking controller to park the uh, solar tracker in a tabletop position for high wind when it's installed in the dual axis mode. And I'm assuming, I haven't had a chance to read all this yet, that it would turn the panels uh, as close to horizontal as possible in the single axis mode as well, I'm assuming. Again, don't hold me to that. I've been very busy. Uh, as soon as I get a chance Hopefully next week I might get a break. I may attempt to set this up and start putting it through its paces. But it's, it looks like a very nice unit. I was fortunate enough back in uh, 2006 to be a part of the beta testing of the original unit. And uh, the original units look nothing like this. And then we have here, in this box, is the anemometer. Very nice looking unit too. Does your wind speed. And on this side, which as you can tell I haven't even opened this yet, I'll be right back. And get out my rusty roofing knife that I've been using every day. <clears throat> This is the north, south, east, west uh, sensor. Look at that, plugs in nice with like a uh, computer plug. That would go up on the solar tracker itself. That's very nicely done. I know what this is. This is a little hood to block out that so you can set your parameters. And then here, as you can see, I, I'm looking at it for the first time as well. Very nicely packaged. There is the actual unit itself. I'm doing this on my little tripod so I can't really see. Very nicely done. Looks to be a waterproof box. 24 volts DC max. Oh, that's where your plugs go. Very nice. Nice job. Very nicely done. And then it has just a huge amount of settings that you can dial in yourself. And if you want to take a better look at that, you can freeze the frame. There's your switches for auto manual mode, east, west, north, south. Very nicely done. This comes from Dave Harvey out of Youngsville, North Carolina. And I believe these units are in the, I don't know, $420 price range, which isn't bad for a single axis, dual axis with high wind parking feature, solar tracker controller. So I'm very happy to get this. Anybody that's been following my channel, you know I'm getting ready to move here as soon as I get this house back together and then sell it. And I'm looking for an off-grid property, and there's going to be a whole bunch of solar set up. I have a couple of ideas for some new solar trackers as well. I'm looking to build some units that would hold at least 10 to 12 panels. When that will happen, I don't know. So hopefully, as I said next week, I'll get a break in my action here. And I'll hook that up on one of my solar trackers I still have up and running. 
and we'll stop putting it through its paces. So uh, LPC has been building these now for going on six or seven years. I'm sure he's got them all figured out. And I'm very excited to uh, get this thing, learn how to use it, and get it up and running and functioning properly. Very nicely done, Dave. Very nicely done. Okay, so that's a sneak peek at the LPC Dual Axis Wind Parking Solar Tracker Controller. There'll be more coming on this unit in the following weeks as I get a chance. And uh, when I do make my move and install all my new solar, this will be part of my arrangement. Alright, so that's it for now on this unit. Uh, if you want to learn any more about that, you can freeze frame this picture right here. It's www.solarstalker.com, and that's the unit. Okay, thanks for watching, and there'll be more on this to come. Over and out for now.